Hi, I'm Thales from HubSpot, and today I'm going to explain the basics of video editing. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. Post any questions or suggestions you have in the comments below. Let's get started. According to Cisco, by 2022, online video traffic will account for 82% of all internet traffic, both business and consumer. The demand for video is growing and it's quickly becoming the most effective way to share ideas online. Learning how to produce videos will allow you to tap into this rapidly growing channel and meet people where they're at. Although there are additional facets to video production like scripting and filming, this video will focus specifically on editing. But before we get into the editing process, let's talk software. If you're just getting started and looking for free editing software, then consider iMovie, DaVinci Resolve, or Lightworks. Although limited, all of these programs provide adequate tools to produce high quality video. If you want more advanced features and you're willing to spend some more money, then consider Adobe Premiere Pro or Premiere for short. Premiere is a leading video editing software used by amateurs and professionals alike. With a customizable interface and numerous advanced editing tools, the platform is often called the industry standard. Other paid options include Final Cut Pro X and Avid Media Composer. For the examples in this video, we'll be using Premiere. No matter which editing software you use, here's a simple workflow to make your editing process as efficient as possible. One quick note, this workflow is a great starting point, but feel free to experiment with your own process. Since every video is different, you might find tips and tricks that work better for the type of video you're producing. Keep an open mind and always look for new ways to optimize your workflow. Step one, importing media. Importing will bring all your media, like raw footage, voiceover files, stills, music, etc., into your editing program. At this stage, it's important to stay organized. It's recommended that you create folders or bins in your editing software to house each different type of media. So one folder for music, one folder for raw footage files, and so on. This also ensures that if you need to hand off your project to another editor, they'll be able to navigate it easily. Step two, pulling selects. Create a new timeline or sequence in your editing program and populate it with all your raw footage. Watch through this timeline to isolate the best shots and cut out mistakes. As you go along, cut your best shots and bump them up to another level in the timeline. Once you've finished reviewing your raw footage timeline, make a copy of it so you can refer back to it if needed. Name one of the timeline copy selects footage. This will be the timeline you'll use to build your edit. Within the selects footage timeline, delete all the raw footage and mistakes on the lowest level, and then delete the gaps in between the remaining clips. At this point, you should have a timeline of all your best shots laid out sequentially. Step three, adding additional media. Now you can add stills, music, animated graphics, or B-roll to your edit. This is the fun part. Feel free to get creative here, but try to solve for the viewer by keeping the quality and tone of the additional media consistent with the look and feel of the raw footage. One thing to note, B-roll is relevant supplementary footage that's intercut with the main shot. For example, if you have a person on camera talking about dogs, a B-roll shot could be a cutaway to someone walking their dog. Adding B-roll will help make your edit more dynamic and engaging for the viewer. Step four, finishing. Once all additional media has been added and you've made your edits, it's time to finish the video by applying color correction and audio mix. Color correction ensures that the look of your raw footage and media is consistent throughout the video. Go through your video clip by clip to make sure the brightness, contrast, and saturation is similar across your edit. The audio mixing will ensure that your audio isn't too quiet or too loud, as bad quality audio can render your video unwatchable. It's recommended that you adjust your audio levels to peak between minus 12 and minus six decibels. Step five, exporting. Now that your video is complete, you'll need to export it from your editing program into a self-contained video file for upload. There are a multitude of options, but we recommend exporting it as an MP4 file as it's the most widely supported video file format used by platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And that's it a crash course on video editing. There's much more to editing than these five steps, but hopefully the simple process can help you get started creating video on your own. Need some additional help? Click the link in the description below to learn more. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below.